Hi, I'm Pierre Escobas from Riviera Macro, and I'm back to the San Francisco Botanical Garden today. So let's get inside and see what we're going to do today. Today's video is about using a long lens for close-up photography and proxy photography. I'm going to show you how I use my 300 millimeter Nikon PF lens to take uh, pictures of flowers, insects, and uh, today, hopefully, hummingbirds too. So first, let's talk about the characteristics of the 300 lens. It's the Nikon 300 PF, uh, which means Fresnel lens, which means this lens is very light, very compact for a 300, very small, and coupled with the Z6, it's a tiny package. The minimum uh, focusing distance is about 1.4 meters, which uh, translates into about four feet, four to five feet. And actually the working distance between the front uh, element and the subject in this configuration is uh, 110 centimeters, which is about, I think, uh, three, three to four feet. At that setting, the magnification is 0.25 times, which makes it perfect for large subject. One of the plants that's blooming right now in California is the Ecom. You can see behind me, it's a magnet for insects, so it's great for macro. And I'm going to show you two things here on this side. I'm going to show you what kind of bokeh I get with this lens. Due to compression effect and the aperture of f4, I get very nice subject isolation and uh, the, um, uh, the bokeh is fantastic. And the second thing I'm going to show you is how to increase magnification using an extension ring. So the trick to increase magnification on a long lens and, and get to photograph smaller subjects is to use an extension ring. I use Kenko rings where they're the best, they're a Japanese brand, and I use the 36 millimeter and that gives me a magnification probably close to 0 0.4, 0 0.5 times, which is good enough. It's not a really macro photography, but it's good enough for subjects like the ones I'm using today. So mission today is to find flowers, uh, insects, and hopefully some hummingbirds, which qualify as, uh, almost as flying insects. So I'm going through the garden and show you how I use the lens and also what can be improved in terms of magnification. So let's go to another place. I came here because some birders told me I could find hummingbirds and I did, but they're just too fast and so far uh, no picture. If you don't have enough reach, you can use a teleconverter. I have here a 1.7 times TC, which I uh, often couple with my 300 to give me a 510 millimeter uh, focal length. You keep the um, short working distance of the 300, but you have more reach and you can photograph very, very shy animals like dragonflies. And you can even pair that with the 36 millimeter extension ring, which gives you more magnification.
So I've not managed to catch the hummingbirds, but I've got some nice um, uh, mosquitoes <laughs> and also some nice butterfly pictures and birds, etc. So the point is a long lens coupled with uh, an extender and um, an extension ring is actually a multi-tool. It's very versatile, so highly recommended. If you have any questions, send me a message and I'll see you in the next video on the French Riviera.